सो हे गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड आई एम बैक अगेन विद अनदर रियली इंटरेस्टिंग कोडिंग इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वीडियो दिस इज अ मीडियम लेवल क्वेश्चन अ बैक चेकिंग क्वेश्चन ऑफ लीड कोड आज इन मल्टीपल कंपनीज लाइक गूगल एमेजॉन फेसबुक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इट राइट हियर इन दिस वीडियो एंड गाइस बिफोर आई गो एनी फर्दर आई वांट टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर फ्यूचर नोटिफिकेशंस एंड इफ यू लाइक प्रोग्रामिंग इफ यू लाइक कोडिंग देन डू गिव दिस वीडियो अ बिग थम्स अप एंड शेयर इट विद योर फ्रेंड्स एज वेल इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस कमेंट सजेशंस फीडबैक फॉर मी प्लीज पुट देम इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो आई विल डेफिनेटली एड्रेस देम एज सुन एज पॉसिबल नाउ विदाउट डिलेइंग दिस वीडियो एनी फर्दर लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so guys the problem statement is called as subsets and basically we are given a set of numbers here an array of numbers here uh, this is a unique array of numbers and we want to create all the subsets of these numbers so you can see first of all we are having an empty subset and then we are having all possible combinations of the numbers present in this array uh obviously there has to be all the sets which are not duplicates for example you cannot have 1 2 3 and 3 2 1 because both of them will count as the same set uh another example it's pretty much straight forward uh the length of the array is from 1 to 10 the value of the numbers is from minus 10 to plus 10 all the numbers are unique so guys this is a back tracking problem and definitely we are going to create one recursive function and also we have to you know keep on creating our result set populating our result uh, array list and then we have to return it to our user so let's start started with the solution so first of all i'll create my result variable here which i have to return to the function and there we go and then i will create one temp list variable which we are going to pass inside this result or add inside this result array list temp list and then we are going to basically create a recursive function i'll also call that function subsets and then pass uh, all these values here result uh, temp list and nums and also a value 0 where it denotes the starting index the starting index from the nums array from where we will start adding the elements into our temp list finally we are going to return the result so let's start implementing the subsets function and this will uh, be a private uh, void function and uh, the arguments inside this function will be as follows as we have mentioned here first argument is going to be the result second argument is going to be our temp list third argument is going to be an array of nums fourth argument is going to be the starting index so integer start okay so there is the declaration for our function the first thing we are going to do is we are going to add the temp list inside this so the first time when we will call this recursive function the temp list is going to be empty so we will just add empty array list inside this result set and then we are going to start from integer i equals to start to i less than nums dot length i plus plus and uh, then we will going to start adding the elements of the nums array into this template so add nums i once we have added an element now we want to create the subsets with that particular element so if we have like one added now i want to create the subsets with one so with one we can have 1 2 3 1 and 2 1 and 3 so to create that i will call the subsets function again and i'll pass uh, you know the same thing the result temp list and nums but this time guys in start position we are going to have start value i plus 1 so basically all the numbers after the i the uh, these numbers we can add into the subset okay <clears throat> if you are if you do i plus 1 then basically the next time or in the recursive call when you will call that function you will never add the same ith number again okay It's because we want to make it a unique subset also guys after you are done with creating the subsets with that particular number you have to remove that number from the temp list again because for the next number in the array you don't want the same number repeated okay 
so templates dot remove new integer nums i so once this for loop is completed guys the recursion is completed your subsets are generated and uh, now let's run this code let's see if this works or not you can see guys the uh, code works and uh, although the order is not same but definitely all these subsets match the expected answer let's go and submit this code guys and uh, let's see the submission and you can see guys the submission is also accepted let's see the details of the submission here so there you go guys the runtime and the memory distribution both are acceptable if i talk about the time complexity this is basically a for loop which is running like n number of times and then we are having a recursive function so the time complexity is order of n into 2 to the power n uh, that's your time complexity and obviously the run the uh, the, the space complexity uh, sorry is uh, 2 to the power n okay so that's about the space complexity that's about the time complexity i hope you guys uh, you know uh, i'm sorry guys uh, the time complexity is n into 2 to the power n but the space complexity is order of n because we are using n space to maintain this particular array so basically we are storing n elements at a time in our temp array list okay so that's why it's n uh, so that's about the solution discussion guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video you learned something from it hopefully your coding practice became a little bit better if it has then please do not subscribe to sub uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel uh, hit the bell icon for future notifications as uh, for your information i make here videos every day from monday to friday uh, you know like this video share this video guys and uh, Please put some nice comments in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, bye-bye.